Hey, thank you for showing up to Redeem Life Church today, whether you're here in person or online. Thank you for joining us. I wanna ask you a few questions this morning. Is that okay? Is that all right? Is that all right? Can I ask you a few questions? Here's the first one. What is your greatest sin? Go ahead and write that down on the connect card. You should have it uh, right there in front of you. I'm just kidding. Don't, don't write down your greatest sin. But how can we pray for you? That's the real question. How can we pray for you? What is going on in your life that needs prayer, that needs the hand of Jesus? We want to pray for that. Take that connect card, fill it out. If you're watching online, you can scan the QR code or visit redeemlife.church. However you get there, make sure we know how we can pray for you this week. Second question, how's your Bible time? How's your daily Bible time? Not sure where to start, not sure what to read? Hey, we've got a regular daily Bible reading plan here at Redeem Life Church that you can follow along with and read the entire Bible in a year. And with that Bible reading plan comes a prayer focus and a verse of the month. And the verse of this month is 1 Peter 4.10. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. And the prayer focus for this week is deliverance from fear and shame. Come on, somebody. Okay, here's my next question for everybody here today. How's your community here at church? Do you have a community of people that can be there for you when life gets challenging and gets hard? How do you form those relationships? You do something as simple as join life groups. Life groups are kicking off the week of October 2nd. You can sign up now in the lobby. You can sign up now at that QR code on the screen. You can visit redeemlife.church backslash life groups. You got hiking, you got co-ed, you got women's, you got men's. Plenty of options, plenty of ways for you to build your community here at Redeem Life Church. Okay, next question. Are you growing stronger in your walk with Jesus? And you may be thinking, how do I do that, King? I have no idea. Discipleship nights. Discipleship nights. Now, we are closing it out this week with our very own pastors, Pastor Anthony, Pastor Bonnie. They're going to be talking about recovery and relationships. Discipleship nights right here, 7 p.m. Tuesday night, because salvation only happens once, but discipleship is daily. So build yourself up. Get to Redeem Life Church Discipleship Nights this Tuesday, 7 p.m. All right, last question. For everybody in the house, ladies and the fellas, ladies, have you connected with the women of this church to fortify your community? Do you know who the soul sisters are in your corner? Fellas, are you building community? Do you feel known? If not, there's a couple great opportunities for you to get plugged into. Soul Sisters Night is happening October 7th, right here at Redeem Life Church, 5 p.m. Tickets are available right now, ladies. Tickets are available right now. You can get them in the lobby. Don't go right now. Go after service, stop in the lobby, scan the QR code, go to the link. Plenty of ways for you to grab your tickets. They are available now. And fellas, the men's retreat is coming up in November. It's not too early to save. It's not too early to plan. You can get your ticket now. Save your spot, get plugged in, because if you are making this your church home, then you want to go deeper in relationships with the men and women around you to support your walk with Jesus. Get plugged in, not because it's going to make us better, but because it's going to make you better in the end. And we want to support your faith journey. Love you, church. Thank you for being here. Make it a great Sunday. Make it a great week.